damn angel soldiers. They attack us as soon as they lay their eyes on us. This is getting us nowhere. I doubt we'll ever get to ask them about the flowers. Sorry. If only I'd gone back to Celestia, none of this would have ever happened. Don't apologize. You're Baharo's little sister. There's no reason you two should ever be separated again. I'm sure they'll understand. I see. So that's what's going on here. Who the hell are you? My name is Varunga, Archangel of Celestia. Uh, Archangel? Nice to meet you. I'm Claude, a fallen angel. Wow, he's as handsome as the last Archangel wasn't. I see. No wonder the search party was having so much trouble. They were fighting over Lord Laharl. All high-ranking angels know about him. Wow, no one in the Netherworld seems to know about him. Quiet, you! And you must be Demon Angel Sicily. Demon Angel? What? Didn't she tell you? All the other angels fear her because she's rumored to have Overlord blood in her. Is that true, Cicely? Huh. I heard that you move around a lot, but I didn't know you came to the Netherworld. Only a demon angel would think to do that. But even so, you are still an angel. As an Archangel, I cannot leave any angel behind. Especially at a time like this, when many have gone missing. Take my loving right hand, and come back with me to Celestia. What are you doing? Did you even wonder... why this angel kid came to the Netherworld all by herself? And why she decided not to go back to Celestia? Because she's your sister? Because she has the blood of an overlord inside her? Archangel, uh, pardon me, but I don't think that's the reason why. Cicely was lonely in Celestia. So she came searching for a place to belong in the Netherworld. Flan! Big Brother! If you didn't even realize that, how could you say all that garbage about love and stuff? This fallen angel love freak would make a much better archangel than you any day. <clears throat> I can't hand her over to an incompetent angel like you. I don't care what you say. The decision has already been made. And you have no authority to change that decision. If you do not comply, I will show you the divine punishment of love. Thank you. 
Not over yet. My love will not lose. Stop. What? S Seraph Lamington? Virunga, step aside for now. You have done your job. Yes, sir. Are you here to take her back, too? You should show her more affection. After all, is she not your sister? You believe that she is, which is why you've been trying so hard to protect her. Am I correct? Hmm. Wait a minute. When the queen died, the prince didn't have a little sister. And why would the child of a human and a demon be an angel? Seraph? You may still not be ready for this. But I suppose I must tell you now in order for you to be able to accept the whole truth. Overlord Laharam, do you remember when you had fallen ill and were close to dying when you were young? How could I forget? Your mother saved you by sacrificing her own life. When she did, she was pregnant with Sicily. When she died, she had the potential to become an angel, but she chose to pass that privilege along to the baby in her womb. She said that she didn't want her baby to die because of her own selfish actions. I accepted her decision, and Sicily became an angel. Her name was given to her by her mother. Does that mean that Sicily really is the prince's little sister? 
It's love! What saved Laharl and what saved Sicily was motherly love! <sighs> so it's my fault you're an angel. <gasps> Why would you say that? How could you think something so twisted? If I never got sick, you would have been born in the netherworld. You never would have had to live all alone in Celestia or have been called the Demon Angel. Sicily, you should be angry at me. Flan, do you understand why I didn't tell Sicily earlier? Huh? The one who changed Sicily's destiny was her mother. If her mother had not made the decision to save Laharl, Sicily would not have been an angel. My biggest fear for her was that she would hate her mother if she found out. Does that mean Lahara was trying to protect his mother? Big Brother, I'm not gonna hate anyone. Because if Mommy didn't save Big Brother, and if she didn't turn me into an angel, I never would have met my kind brother. And I'm really grateful for that. Sicily. Don't call me kind! Do you dare mock the Overlord? No. But that's why I think, as an angel, I need to love you as much as Mommy would have loved you. What?! Should I start with a hug, and then kiss you? Good for you, Prince. Ah, this is not good! Get, get away from me! Wait! Big Brother! Oh, I'm so happy for her! She doesn't seem to have any hard feelings! I still can't believe she's his little sister, but oh well. It's funnier this way. Oh, that's right! Seraph, I wanted to ask you something. It's about these UEA flowers. Treasure Hottie Etna and her dog Lahara journey to find the treasure of darkness, which lies in the depths of the netherworld. Why am I a dog? Many traps impede their way. A passing fallen angel, Flan, gets caught in them, but Etna eludes them with ease. Oh, help me! Flan and my beloved dog, Laharl, I won't let your debts be in vain. What? Big Brother was dead too? Next time on Pretty Hunter Etna, Episode 8. Cursed treasure, Etna in danger. I'm going to take your treasure. Etna, you're too harsh on my brother. Nah, 